We're now going to talk about the chain rule. Before explaining the chain rule multivariable calculus, let's first briefly review how the chain rule works in single variable calculus. So suppose that y is a function of x, and suppose that x is a function of another variable t. Then the chain rule says that if we think of y as a function of t, then dy dt equals dy dx times dx dt. And to be a little more precise, we should specify where we are evaluating these functions. So the more precise statement is that dy dt evaluated at t equals dy dx evaluated at x of t times dx dt evaluated at t. And of course, we're assuming that the derivatives of x and y are defined at these points. So the pre really precise statement is that if x is differentiable at t, and if y is differentiable at x of t, then y is a function of t, is differentiable at t, and its derivative is given by this formula. Okay? And then for example, so suppose that we're walking along a one-dimensional mountain range, and we think of y as the height at position x. So y is altitude, x is position, and suppose we're walking along this one-dimensional landscape with t being the time parameter. Then what the chain rule says is that the rate of climb, that is the rate at which our altitude is changing with respect to time, is equal to the slope times the horizontal speed the horizontal velocity. Okay, so that should make intuitive sense. Another way you might have seen to remember the chain rule is that you can imagine that we just write these fractions here and cancel the dx's. Now, in general, that's not such a great idea. These dy, dx, and dt, in general, are not like numbers that you can just cancel in fractions. And when we talk about the chain rule in multivariables, you'll see that this doesn't work anymore. Or to tell a little joke, you might have seen that if you take the fraction 16 divided by 64, well, then you can cancel the sixes to see that this is equal to 1 fourth. Of course, that's not going to work for most other numbers. So in the coming lecture segments, we'll see how the chain will works for functions of multiple variables.